everybody, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. Uh, I just thought I would jump on today and do a tutorial of customizing a pair of safety eyes with my UV resin and some mica patterns that I recently bought at Michael's. Um, I might do more of these if there's interest, so uh, just let me know in the comments below if you would like to see some more makes with custom eyes matching your yarn. So today I decided to pick um, Sweet Snuggles Light, and this is Grapes Dot. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to flip the camera around, and I'm going to make a pair of safety eyes to match my yarn, and then I will come back with a plushie using the eyes that I made. So I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be fun to try. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have my UV lamp off to the side here. I have my UV resin and I have my mica patterns. So I think in this tutorial, I'm just going to make a set of eyes that I think will match this yarn. And this is Sweet Snuggles Light from Michaels and it's, um, it's Grapes Dot. That's the name of the yarn. Um, so, I'm just going to put, and I have paper towel here because I don't want to get any resin on my work surface. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of resin in these little cups that I got from my local hardware store. And I have, I bought these from Michael's. Um, in the resin section and this is a purple so I thought I would just take a little bit I don't think you need very much I'm just gonna put a little bit in oh, this is gonna be messy okay and then I have kind of like a white pearl color and I'm going to put a little bit in that cup. Again, I don't think you need very much. And I'm only making one set of eyes for the purpose of this video. So I don't want to make too much. Okay, so now I'm just going to mix it up. Oh, I guess I should have grabbed a pair of safety eyes, Heather. And these are 25 millimeter eyes. And I get these off AliExpress and I will link them in the description below. So I'm just gonna peel off the protective layer and then kind of put it back on because I don't want it to be wrapped around the eyes in case resin drips down but okay so I'm just going to use my popsicle stick to add the resin to the back of the eyes and I think I'm just going to do like Just like maybe little dots all the way around. And I'm just playing around. And that's why I didn't mix up very much. And you probably aren't going to see that very well on camera. But I just put dots all the way around. So now I'm going to put this in my lamp and turn that on. And it only has to be under there for like a minute. And I think this is going to be a great way to decorate your eyes because paint, you have to wait for the paint to dry when you're using paint, right? So I'm going to do the same thing. 
I'm going to go around and I'm just going to add some dots. And I think this is a great way to customize your eyes. And you can make your plushies stand out from other vendors. But a lot of people are starting to do this now, so. But I think it's fabulous. Okay, so I got dots all the way around that one. So I'm just going to set those in there. And while I have those in there, I'm going to mix the other color. Now this one, I'm going to totally cover the back of the eye, so I'm going to need a little bit more of this one. because you need a background color. Same as the paint, you kind of need to layer it. Um, I think that it's gonna look pretty cool. No, do I have enough there? Hmm. I'd rather make not enough than too much, so if I need to make more, I'll just make a little bit more. But yeah, have fun. This is a great way to, you could also put glitter down on your safety eyes, let them dry for a couple hours, and then come back and do a top coat with the resin. And then your second step is a lot faster than using black acrylic paint. So I just thought I'd jump on and film this. Don't know if that's enough, but I don't want to make any more right now just in case. So I'm going to take out the first eye that I put in because it really only takes like a minute under my lamp. Okay, so now I'm going to add a whole layer of this color spread it around and by setting like by setting the the purple under there and curing it when you're putting this layer on you don't got to worry about your purple smearing or moving all over the place which I think is pretty cool okay and I'm gonna set this under the lamp and cure it and if it's not enough I can always go back in with another layer and cure it again I'm just trying to make sure that all the purple is covered. Okay, so now I'm going to put this one in and take the other one out. And hopefully that light isn't too bright for your, your eyes. Um, I think I'm gonna mix just a little bit more Maybe add just one more little. But you want to make sure you're wearing gloves. Resin is very messy. And this resin I got off of Amazon. And it's J, JD, JD Diction. J, 
Jadiction. I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, I used to buy the resin at Michael's. And I found that the resin turned yellow really, really quickly, so I stopped using it. Okay. And I find it's just easy to use the popsicle stick as an applicator. Now these eyes are quite big so they're pretty easy to customize. I haven't tried the smaller eyes yet but I plan on doing this with all my different sizes. I'm not even going to order the color discs that come with the eyes anymore. I'm going to start doing this to all of my eyes. I got a little bit on the post. I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I'm just going to put those back in there for another minute. And we'll see what they look like when they come out. So I think your, your um, options are limitless with this. But um, I also bought some chunky glitters to mix with resin. And so I would like take some glitter, put it in a cup, mix it with the resin, and put that down first. And then maybe go back in with the mica powder. So maybe I'll, in another video, pick another yarn, make the eyes a different way. And then make a plushie and kind of do like a little mini series. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know. I think it would be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Because there's so many different colored yarn out there. Like, you can pretty much customize your eyes to any plushie. The only thing is the glitter. Glitter gets everywhere. Okay, so which one did I put in first? I think it was this one. I'm just going to give that another minute. I'm going to give that another minute and then I will be back. Of course, I got gloves on so I can't really pause the video. <laughs> it's not working, so. You'll have to wait with me. I can probably take my gloves off now because once they come out, it'll be cured. But I find it doesn't take that long. So I think that's the one I put in first. So yeah, that's hard. That's cured. That's hard. That's cured. So we're good. All right. So let me take this off. Whoops. I don't know how well you're going to see this on camera, but isn't that cool? So I'm going to jump off and I'm going to make a critter with this and then I'll be back to show you what that looks like. Um, I think this would look good on a, 
octopus. Um, I'm getting like aquatic vibes from this, so I'll jump off, make a plushie, and then I'll come back and show ya. Be back in a bit. Okay, so I made a plushie with my eyes that I just made. And I decided to do a squid from, all from Jade. And I think it looks amazing. Like, how cool is that? I absolutely love it. So, that's the yarn I used. And those are the eyes that I made with my mica powder and resin. And it really didn't take me that long. Like, not even like 10 minutes to make the eyes. But isn't that cool? So, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing some more critters done this way. And I'll try to think of a name for like a little mini series or something. And maybe aim for two videos a month or maybe even one video a week. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just testing the waters here. So thank you everybody for subscribing, giving me thumbs up, liking my channel. I really appreciate it. Those who have been coming to my lives every Wednesday night, thank you very much. Love interacting with you all. It's so much fun. So I will see you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.